So I see you have a really big mobile device on the stand today. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Tesla? Sure, so, so uh, automobiles are the ultimate mobile device. Uh, we've been working with the automobile manufacturers for a long time. Uh, there's a huge amount of information in the cars that needs to be processed and put in a very concise form to show the user. And so Tesla has been working deeply with us. This is their, their uh, four-door coupe, beautiful electric car, um, and it's got two Tegras in it. Um, these, these folks obviously are very concerned about power. They want great performance with very low power. So Tegra was a natural solution to go off and do both the in-dash system as well as the entertainment, navigation, all the systems. Well, so here we are in the Tesla Model S sedan. And uh, this is pretty amazing. So we're going to have Evan talk a little bit about what's possible here. There are two Tegras in this, one that drives this display and one that drives this gorgeous 17-inch display. So Evan, tell us a little bit about what's possible here. So we have a full web browser. Um, full navigation with connectivity, and we have onboard navigation as well. Uh, this looks like Google Earth. This is Google Maps, um, and you can see there's a 3G connection in the car, um, so it, it's live updates. So as you're driving, it'll continuously update the map. Um, you can do regular Google searches as well. Um, All my entertainment is here? Full entertainment, media player, uh, AM, FM tuner, satellite radio, internet radio, um, and we have the ability to update these cars even after they're sold, so they'll continue to stay up to date and fresh. Amazing. Um, it's full touchscreen, multi-touch, so you can see two people can interact at the same time with the display. Um, we have a full subset of car controls on the display, so this would be the sunroof control. You can just drag the slider to where you want, and the sunroof will open. Um, same with headlights, so there's no more traditional hard switch for headlights, it's all through the touch screen. A, cr a truly amazing device. Now there's another, there's a whole other panel here. Yep. So there's a cluster display which is also reconfigurable. Um, that's with driver focused uh, content, like what's now playing, uh, your power usage, your speed. Uh, when you have navigation on, navigation appears in the cluster as well. So it's really driver-focused content. So one of the things that this allows me to do is take a ridiculously large amount of data that people have coming at them now and put it in a very simple form so it's easier for the driver. They don't have to worry about all these different inputs. It just gives them a concise feedback on what's going on. That's true. And there's also tactile feedback through steering wheel controls. So you have some, it's, it's not a full touch interface. You still have tactile feedback through these rollers on the steering wheel. And the menu system and, and content on the cluster display will be mapped to the steering wheel controls. So the Perfect. The driver doesn't have to always use the touch screen while driving. Perfect. Well, this is great. We're, uh, and this is, uh, um, is going to be available this year. 